Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Use Lancon, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you been waiting for another episode. I know you been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got your shit. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Yo, had to come back one time. Ah, oh, shit. What the fuck? I wonder why it's so dark. Let's find out why. Oh, yeah, it's because of this weather. It don't matter if I open the curtains. It's just going to be dark as fuck. <sighs> fuck it. What's up, y'all? Lord Shoe ass back in this bitch. Back in this bitch. With another one. Just throw this in here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I wonder how crazy it looked. Let's find out. I guess it don't look that crazy. <laughs> Cause it don't even show up. Welcome back, y'all. It's Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you're watching this outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch account. Subscribe at tier three so I can give you my album, my book, and put you in an entry for my giveaway that I'm doing on September 21st. The album and the book would be free if you subscribe at tier three. That's like the little rhyme right there, so you remember. If you subscribe at tier one using Amazon Prime, that's uh, it's pretty much easy, easy like free game for you. So, just figure I throw that out there for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Making shit, making shit special for y'all. Uh. I just did my first TikTok video today. Please, if you haven't visited my website, shoelovesrebels.com, my TikTok is on there. Y'all follow your boy on TikTok, man. Lord Shoe X. Lord, period, shoe, period, X, period. Well, no period after the X. Just Lord Shoe X with two periods. But, yeah, y'all hit your boy up on TikTok. I'm going to be on there pretty often. I just learned how to really use it for the first time today. Sorry I didn't do no reruns today, y'all, but I just wanted to make a new video anyways. You know, I don't want to catch y'all with the reruns too much. Mainly, I did the rerun because the single, I had dropped the single uh, last week. I played the single on Twitch, but it hasn't released worldwide yet, so. 
you know I had to put the put the single out there so y'all could hear it. Because y'all the Twitch fam. Y'all hear everything first. And then, you know, basically just been making content all day, honestly. Shit, shit, low key, kind of ill. But I got an announcement to make. I am starting a guild for all my occultists, for all my entrepreneurs. This is a guild for us, man, to, to bring the spiritual aspect of entrepreneurship and, of course, get into the bag all in one place where we can discuss shit and, you know, bounce ideas off of each other. Now, this place is not a place for you to put your greatest idea. This is for us to work, help each other out. I have started, this will be my second business I've started. And my first business did six figures by just with me. So I feel like I can offer people advice on the next business. But see, this business I'm doing now, the one that I started this time is, is way different from, it's a private infrastructure. So it's hard to make money in a private infrastructure until you have your infrastructure already built out. So once I master this, there you won't be able to tell me shit about how to make money and how to create a second business. See, I like to challenge myself as an entrepreneur. So that being said, I'm creating this guild. It's called The Gray Code, and it will be based in Discord. So as soon as I finish it, which I'm probably going to have it finished tonight. I was going to do some other things, but I think I'm going to focus tonight. I was going to write a song and record it and make some more beats. But right now, I'm just focusing solely on creating this guild. So once I finish it tonight, tomorrow, the guild will be up as well as uh, I'll probably drop a video for the merch in the coming days. I'm not sure when exactly the merch is, when I'm going to release the merch to y'all. The link is already out there. If, you, if you've been following SLR and anything that Laura Shoe X does, you pretty much already know where uh, the merch is for the album Shoe Pro LP. So, I just threw that out there for the people who already be fucking with SLR, who been fucking with SLR. They already know where... The merch is at, they already know what the link to the merch is because every time I make a store, it's under the same uh, URL. I just change my distributor. And most of the time I drop shit my merch because there's people, I like to give companies who specialize in creating merch a chance to create my merch. You know, I don't like, uh, I don't like creating merch. You know, like, all right, I put it this way. I have a friend. He makes music. His name is Michael, but he also does fashion. If if I have a chance to create a line of clothing, I will go to Michael. But see, I went to this company who's already up and running. Michael just got got put in the game again on his on his dream. So I'm gonna let him build his shit up. But trust, as soon as he get his uh portfolio started or he's looking to start his portfolio, I'm gonna give him uh attached to create my my next set of merch for my next project which actually probably coming a lot faster than uh people expecting because right now i'm just getting through shoe pro stuff same thing with all my content and my merch i'm just getting through the shoe pro stuff so that once all that shit's out the way i pretty much can start focusing 100 percent on new projects and these new projects coming is going to be the it's Gonna be in the same lane because I'm changing how this channel channel is through these projects. So the way shoe uh, Lord of Perfected work is the way shoe <laughs> the way Lord of Perfected is now is not gonna be like this for long. So um, this is just uh, a way to build up more content, and the more content I have, the more I can put out shit for y'all. You know, highly highly uh, useful content. I I just didn't want to get on here and just babble. About shit that can't serve you in practicality. You know, we live in a material world. And I'm a material girl. So, that being said. I'm probably not going to do very many more reruns of uh, the, the the live stream of the, um, the single that I'm dropping on September 2nd. Which is in five days. Four days, five days. It's August 29th now. So, 30, 31, 1, 2. Four days. So, in four days, the single is dropping everywhere. 
And you can also find it. Just go to my website. If you want to hear any of my my new music, just go to my website. I have both my discographies will be up. So I have my United Masters discography and my uh, my Bandcamp, which my Bandcamp has everything I've pretty much ever created that's new, starting from 2011. When I left Florida and SLR officially had started. The first SLR, Sky Lounge Recordings, which was my first company. So, I'm sorry. If you was fucking with the reruns, I'm sorry. It just is what it is. I got to keep it moving. I got to keep it pushing. You know, I don't want to get I don't want to get stuck in the loop. That's really what it mostly is. I don't want to get stuck in the loop. So, Alright, so let's get to the meat and potatoes of this stream. This stream is called No Reruns and Donda. Besides that, what's next for Lord Shoe X? So, um, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about what's going on in my life right now. Uh, since this, my journey is y'all's journey. So, uh, my girl obviously been like, uh, You need to go ahead and drop the album so you can release the past and shit like that. So basically, I've just been working hard to get this project out, which the project is, is out now for I mainly for emotional reasons. You know, I got a lot of the past attached to this album. Pretty much like fucked up memories is attached to this album. So having it out and done and out the way, I can focus on creating, you know, new memories, new ideas new vibes and shit like that so that I can build on creating my new reality. And it seems like every time I'm working on music, it's uh, like a, a new chapter in my book. Like, you can go through my discography, starting from Prolific Martyr, like, every chapter of my life is an album for it. You'll know exactly what was going on in my life, and it always seems to be fucked up situations and relationships. So I wanted to create a new... A new vibe, but a lot of niggas, I don't know why, but they fuck with the vibes, man. They fuck with this the stories that I be telling, like of each each thing that's going on. But I, I'm too much. Uh, I ain't too much trying to be like telling the same story over and over because that at this point for me, it's just starting to feel like the reruns. I don't want to do no more reruns of the same albums, you know. Granted, uh, I, I put a lot of heart and soul into these records and also really try my hardest to give y'all good music, you know, not just some shit that just throw together just from a place of getting money. Like, if I'm charging for my records, believe that these records is not just songs to make you shake your ass and get streams up. Like, I'm making genuine songs from, from my heart space. Real music, you know, not no fucking... Radio single shit Like I make singles Radio singles And shit like that But they don't be It be real Real shit Real stories You know Real shit from my life Not just exaggerated You know Niggas get on songs And talk about The 500 hoes They got and shit like that I mean I do that too I'm not gonna lie But Really now Now these days I don't really have Like All I have right now is Goals And businesses And I want to change the dynamic of my family, honestly. You know, lately I've just been thinking about my own personal family and how shit will be here in the uh, coming years because just a lot of different things going on in the world. Granted, I'm not a negative person at all because I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I do feel like shit is pointless, but at the same time, I have so much hope and the reality of what's inside of my head that that shit keep me from blowing my brains out for real for real so with that and this album i have been feeling a lot overwhelmed because of this project but you know i have a strong relationship with spirit and that shit just that relationship keeps me going forward into the unknown not knowing what's going to happen next and just having sheer faith on on these projects that i put out and every time I put a project out, it just gets better and better and better. And I meet more and more people. And sometimes I just have to start learning how to make uh, better decisions with people. Because I'm the type of person, I don't judge people. I let anybody in. That's why I be like, fuck people and stay away from me and shit like that. Because I trust so easy. And 
I love so hard and I care too much and that type of shit is is a target for people who want to fuck you over. And you know, I sometimes I see myself as a narcissist sometimes, but it's not even me honestly how I feel like you know, it, it could be me, but to me I feel like this is just me being a product of actual narcissists, people who have like fucked me over so much. This is like my form of PTSD. Cause I really be genuinely giving a fuck, but as I'm like growing, it seems like I'm so far lost in some of that shit that it's just like uh, some shit I gotta heal. So I work hard on healing that because I I want to be my old self. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the guy who helps people out again and you know not give a fuck. And you know, I'm, I'm not looking for no handouts. I'm I'm not looking for nothing from. You know, in return from people, I just want people to be happy. I want the world to be happy because I remember the world as a child and it was happy. So, I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck about, you know, all the bullshit that be going on in the world. Honestly, you know, sometimes I be on the conspiracy theory type shit sometimes. But the older I get, the more I just realize that I'm getting younger. And I'm going back to my innocence and I'm going back to the shit that made me happy and, and what made me feel good instead of just being on that that fake like wave where, oh, this is this is all there is type shit. You know, like people make you feel like if you don't fucking do live a certain type of way like that, oh, man, you you doom. But at the same time, I do feel like that may be the case. That I can find my own way out and that whatever is happening around me, like I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not chasing my shit. You know, I let my, I, I attract my shit. I'm not chasing it. So that's pretty much what's been going on. Uh, Donda dropped today, which is, I, I'm not finna go too deep into it. If you don't listen to Kanye West, I'm sorry. That's your motherfucking fault, okay? You can keep playing that pop party shit, whatever. If you want to hear the greatest music you ever going to fucking hear, just play this man whole discography, okay? There's no other hip-hop artist that can do it. There's no pop artist that can do it that's making real pop. Like, I think the closest person I can think of off the top of my head that was, like, popping singing-wise was Adele to me and Ariana Grande. That's it. Pop-wise. Let's just be real. Pop-wise with good songs. Real vocals, not this like auto tune bullshit. Maybe Ty Dollar Signs. Ty Dollar Signs can sing, y'all. I don't know, man. I should have made this stream about music, but Ty Dollar Signs can sing. Matter of fact, if y'all know who Cyrock Creative Partners is, Ty Dollar Signs used to be, he used to work with them. Cyrock Creative Partners is like one of the greatest production groups of all time on the level of like Jay Dillard. Like, come on, man. You can't talk to me about this music shit, man. I'm just telling y'all what it is. And Kanye used to work with Sorry Creative Partners. If you, if you ever heard of the song Everybody, which has Andre 3000, um, Puff Daddy's old assistant. What was that man's name, man? Used to wear the motherfucking uh, ascots and shit. And Kanye on the song. And Sarah made the beat. Okay? The song is called Everybody. You'll know just how much, and, and Kanye used to work with MF Doom and Jay Dillard. Like, Kanye the only real underground hip-hop nigga that's mainstream. And I'm talking about real hip-hop. He worked with Most Def, Talib Kweli, Ryan Fest. Ryan Fest used to write music for Kanye West. Like, come on, man. GLC. See, these Chicago niggas. Con uh, Consequence used to fucking write for Kanye, bruh. Like, come on, man. Miss me with the bullshit, bro. If, if you sleeping on purpose, if you not fucking, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, I could go on and just list off the whole My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, the whole 808 and Heartbreak, the whole Yeezus album, the whole Life of Pablo. You, not just one or two songs, these whole projects. Now, Graduation, it's some bangers on there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, uh, late registration, there's some bangers on there. I'm not going to motherfucking lie. Fucking uh, college dropout, there's some bangers on there. But from 
And look, the shit he ain't even dropped. This man got a whole album that leaked out before he dropped Jesus is King, man, called Yandi. That whole shit could win a Grammy right now, bro. If he had to put that sh if he put that shit out right now officially where niggas could buy it, that shit would easily win a Grammy. Easily. That's what I'm saying, man. How your music so hot, your leak shit just as hot as a real album. If not hotter. This shit free. You can listen to a free Kanye West album on YouTube. The shit so fucking fire. Like, I'm I'm not just ranting because this nigga make the greatest music. But, bruh. I'm just letting y'all know the history of hip-hop. And how this nigga is important to hip-hop. Important to the culture as far as hip-hop goes. Because I don't give a fuck about the culture. And neither does he, which is even more amazing. He said, fuck the culture. He breaking it down by his motherfucking self, man. Y'all can't tell me this nigga ain't changing. He ain't. He done changed music. He done changed fashion. He done changed the sneaker game. Everywhere you look is Kanye, bro. He the number one on the times list, bro, in, in our century, bro, of influential people. This nigga married Kim Kardashian just so he could attempt to end racism. I don't know what else y'all want me to say, bro. If you ain't listening to Donda, you fucking tripping. It's on YouTube. All you got to do is have a YouTube account and you can listen to this whole fucking album. 26 songs of fucking heat. And he named the album after his mom. R.I.P. Donda. All right, I'm done now. <laughs> So, besides that, what's next for Lord X? Shit, I'm inspired. I'm inspired. Today, I done, I done did photography today. I done edited and created a video today. Inside of my editing software, I done made a TikTok video today. Y'all know I don't fuck with TikTok, man. Y'all know I don't fuck with TikTok, man. I done made a TikTok video, man. Damn, I done made I made a beat today. Like right now, I'm on my shit. Lord Shu X feeling himself, but it's only because my company, man. I, I wrote everything down into a hard copy over the over the last week, which is last week was a fail, man. But I just needed that rest, honestly. So I created a schedule. It's I say probably in that schedule, four hours is all it takes for me to do everything in that schedule. If I really just followed it 100%. I woke up this morning. I was going to go jog, yo. But the sun was out. And I was like, man, I'm not. I'm, if I finna go jog, it got to be like four in the morning. So I'm about to switch my whole sleep schedule. Up. I'm about to be going to sleep like fucking, I don't know, seven, eight o'clock, maybe six o'clock. Get up. Go go jog for 15 minutes or a jump rope for 15 minutes because I got a jump rope. And then motherfucking do chi gone. But see, I, I got to switch it up some days. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I know that I'm a warrior at heart, man. And I just always felt that way, which is why pretty much my whole life, starting from 13 to now, I pretty much have either been in the gym, I've had my own in-house gym, or I'm... Working out, I never stop. Like, I'm 31 and I never stop working out. I even got into it with my mom today about that shit because she's like, Yo, you and your brother always act like y'all don't work out enough. Y'all be talking about y'all finna do more of this, y'all finna do more of that, but y'all always working out or y'all always doing some kind of workout or some kind of like body movement shit. Like, you always doing that shit, y'all been doing it forever. And I'm just like, damn, maybe it's just in my head that I don't feel like I'm working out enough or I'm not being healthy enough. Like, it's just like one of them things. Because, man, I used to get picked on horribly for my weight, bro. Like, I had titties and shit. Niggas used to flake my titties. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before, but I could not keep that shit going. I got on a treadmill. I ate fucking chicken, peas, and fucking drink water like a motherfucker for the whole summer, bro. Just to get lean, man. So when I got back to the States, bro, I was straight. I kept going. I ain't stopped. As soon as I got back to the States, man, I kept going. Shit, walking 
when the bus dropped me off, man, I'm walking from there to the fucking crib. And honestly, when I was younger in North Carolina, I ain't really go out in my neighborhood like that. I stayed in the house, man. Only time I really go far, I think I walked to school one time or a couple times, man. <laughs> I don't even really remember my neighborhood like that because my partner, he got his license. The day I left, and shout out to JP8, man. I know that he's the one that made me better, bro, as a producer. So shout out to that nigga. He actually the only producer I feature on this album. JP8 made the uh he made the instrumental for Father Figure and he did most of the sessions my uh vocal sessions for uh Shoe Pro. So shout out to my nigga JP8, man. He um he based out of Atlanta and he got his prices on his website jp8productions.com. Matter of fact, I'll put that shit in the chat if you a musician. Y'all go check my man's out. He got some good prices. JPA Productions.com. Yeah. Check my dog out, man. He got some decent prices. And he he works. He definitely get it in. But yeah. Shit is crazy, man. I just been really in my flow. I got a good support system right now. I just I wanna build this guild, dude. Like, that's my next thing. So all my people that's on here, please, please, please make a Discord account. So we can be in this guild talking about this money and how we going to get more of it. Because right now, I already got the blueprint. And I'm going to put my book inside of the uh, Discord channel. So if y'all want to buy it, that shit only $10, man. I made it cheap enough for a kid to be able to get it. In this day and age, they be letting kids work in like 14 and shit. So if you got a younger sibling that want to buy it for them, the book is $10. Teach you how to start a company. How to get the idea, how to solve the actual problem we have in this society and all that shit. Like, from the ground up. And this book took me, shit, seven years to write. And I had to go through straight, pure hell by myself to write this book. So, it's definitely potent, man. And every every time I went through something in that book, it taught me more how to, how to be a better entrepreneur. How to get to the bag more. And what uh, investments I need to make. And by worrying about yourself. You might got a significant other and somebody that you really care about. The best thing you can do for them is by working on your motherfucking self and making sure your shit A1. Now, if y'all can do it together, that's even better. Even if it don't go no motherfucking way, y'all helping each other be better people. And that's what the that's really what the book is about. It's like a guide for being work being in a relationship with somebody and being able to do the work. And also being alone and doing the work at the same same time. Because you got to be consistent and efficient with yourself first before you can do that shit with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? If you got somebody that's willing to learn and help help you learn and help you grow, then yeah, you should keep that person around and y'all be a motherfucking tr double threat to the fucking entrepreneur world. But... This I'm excited about starting this guild, man, because I really can't set it up the way I see, envision it. I got a platform that already makes it easy. I don't have to do no coding. Even though, you know, somebody might be plugging my shit, we talking about shit that could potentially help people. So, you know, I really don't give a fuck if people watching or not. No matter what, people going to watch anyways, whatever we do. You feel me? That's why we in this world. It's to show people how to do shit. We're supposed to be showing people how to do shit. And we it's going to be NPCs out here that's not going to like what we're doing. It's going to be NPCs that do like what we're doing. But that's the point of all of this, man. So we can keep pushing and really just build. That's the biggest goal for me right now with everybody is to build. I want to build more shit with everybody and my core group. And I need, I want my core group to keep growing. So, hell, if it's just going to be me and 11-11 in there, Maybe my dog Void Thought might go ahead and make the Discord, hop in with this shit, and we could really get to, get to talking about some some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And building, cause that's all I'm that's all I'm down for is building, man. If I can just get my core group building every day, we getting on this bitch and we in a group and we talking every day. See, when I'm in WhatsApp, I'm just talking about some personal shit. I'm just being nasty on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see some booty holes. But when I'm on my fucking 
Discord, we talking about this bag. See, I gotta have a distinction. I I had to figure out a way to have my two cell phones without wasting my money. So I made a Discord for the business and I got WhatsApp for the, you know. You feel me? So I don't wanna really be fucking bullshitting with a whole other phone. You know, I just I never use that phone. I tried to build up a, a group chat in my phone and it ended up being a bunch of people from my previous uh my previous place of employment, which I had to let that motherfucker go. But yeah, man. And I promise you one shit going on in there but old lady starting. TikTok and I was throwing our little company party, so I was getting everybody fucked up on my tab, which I'm just, I'm built like that. I get niggas fucked up, and I just watch how they move, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be freaked out, and oh, that's why I, I you know, sometimes you just got to let shit lay where it's, where it's supposed to, man. Just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no money in that shit, man. Ain't no money in that shit, man. I'm glad this motherfucking phone is off, bro. This this was my this was my uh business line. Or no, nah, this is my personal line. But I turned it into like my Discord chat. And I wanted it to be like that. But see with Discord it's more categorized. You actually can okay, in this chat we only talking about spiritual shit. And this chat is the rules and everything, so I don't have to tell you as soon as you come into the chat, it's already in this area, categorized in this area. So, I just seen the genius in the shit. I'm saving money. That was like 150 bucks. Even though I paid the shit up for six months, I think to turn the shit on, to keep it on, was like 150 bucks. When I paid $90 for six months. Why the fuck would I pay $150 for a month when I paid $90 for six months? That shit don't even sound right. That's not that a real entrepreneur was just taking advantage of them six months, which I did. After that, this motherfucker is sitting here off since the day it turned off. It's been off. I ain't put this whole back on the charger. If I get on this phone, it probably won't even work. Matter of fact, let's find out. Let's find out, Twitch family, if this shit gonna work or not. I gotta find my charger. This is the third time I done got up during the stream. Damn. Let's find out, Twitch family. Hmm. I had a cord that used to... Oh, damn, this shit right here by my feet. God damn. Yeah, man. That shit kind of had me blow, bro. I'm like, how you fucking got a whole nigga and you trying to... Oh, that bitch talking about you... I can be your girlfriend. I'm like, I don't think my actual girlfriend would appreciate that, but... Lucky for you, she don't live here, so she can't smack the fuck out your dumb ass. Telling you, man, the shit that Lord Shu has got to go through for having this beautiful face. And his beautiful hair. And these great lyrics. Great music and fucking great content and just great everything. I'm just great all around. You get to be a part of my life. Let's see if this bitch even come on. This whole not even charging, bro. And it's the charger they go to. That's how dead it is. Damn. All right, well, we gonna let it sit for a little bit. I still got some time on this stream. I'm getting off this bitch at 7 on the Dizzy. I ain't fucking playing. Y'all know what time it is, man. Fucking Instagram popping today. If y'all don't know, also... People don't realize Donda dropped today, and it's Michael Jackson's birthday today, too. Come on, man. I sound like boozy. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know what else to tell you. It is what it is, bro. Michael Jackson is one of the greatest. Look, we talking about the greatest pop artists of all time. Hands down, Michael Jackson, bro. Prince couldn't even top that nigga, man. And Prince made great music. 
But hands down, bro, we already know we already know who the king. Look, you know they call Elvis the king. I don't know what the fuck he was the king of. Doing that weird ass hip dance. Michael Jackson been killed that shit with the moonwalk. And that was a break dance move. Shout out to hip hop. Like, come on, man. I know this shit like the back of my hand. But see, motherfuckers don't be caring about that. I'm going to tell you what they care about. Bullshit. <laughs> and they be blowing me. Where the fucking real music at? That's what I want to know. Do you know where it's at? Nah, I'm just playing. You got your choices of music, and that's cool. But damn, bro. It be so many legends, bro. And I get it. They they commercially known worldwide. It's I bet you go to Croatia, niggas know who Michael Jackson or who Kanye West is. I bet y'all know who the fuck you listening to though. They know who Lord Shoe X is. <laughs> That's why I be like, bro, you ain't about to give me no headache. But it is what it is, man. We can't all just be fucking just. Sucking artist ball sacks off either, man. That shit. I'm getting tired of seeing that shit, too. Nine times out of ten, we should all just really support the real artists who actually out here trying to help the world, which most of them aren't. They just make music so that they can have a top ten single and get paid. And a record company can play that shit over and over and over again. Like, y'all. I get it. That's that's Your job is to make music and be the best... Radio single creator, like, I don't understand the the accolades of the music industry, for that matter. Like, when did it stop being about making music that people could actually understand? Like, I listened to that Cognac, Cognac, uh, something, I don't, hold on, man, let me find this damn song. It's by, uh, Megan, Megan D. Stallion. Somebody gotta know the name of that shit. I'm going to just type Kanye in. See if Megan D. Stallion come up. It don't. Okay, so Kanye, not that. She must not be that popular. Kanye Queen. Like, bruh, I keep hearing this song on TikTok so much, bruh. Oh, my God. You see my ears? Oh, my God. I keep hearing that shit on, tic- on TikTok, man. Ugh. <sighs> I'm about to fucking fade away, bro. Like, Jesus. I'm just saying, like, what is so hot about this song? The beat is all right. The beat is all right. The fucking... Really, she could have kept the whole song because the beat is all right. I don't know, man. I can't I can't call it, though. Uh-oh, y'all. We at 2%. Oh, shit. It's, we in this hole. So this this trap phone cost me eighty dollars. This is eighty dollars in the toilet, man. I really could just throw this whole way, but it got my tag on it, so I don't, I don't even think I can get rid of it. This case came with the phone, all that bullshit. This this phone is so trash. Now the company uh is the what's the nigga from uh I can't even remember the name of the damn shit, man. It's a show. Or a, a movie. The dude who played um uh Captain America maybe. He was in that Winter Soldier movie, that dude. Or am I thinking about the Deadpool nigga? I don't know. He got a phone company though. So I bought one of the phones from the phone company. Let's see. Let's see if this motherfucker is back in the game. I hate that little, that font voice that be on TikTok too, man. I was about to put it on my video, but then like I typed in, let's go. And she, <laughs> the little chick was like, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, bro, <laughs> you do not sound excited at all. Like you just read that shit. Let's go. I'm like, boy, this app is something else. But I mean, it's cool. It, it get the job done, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, pretty much what's next for me, honestly, if we just talking about what I'm going to do next, is this uh this radio show. I want to turn my Twitch channel 
into a radio show with nothing but music that's independent from people that I personally know and music that I create because it's mostly going to be just my music. Like, I have that much music. If y'all went to my website right now and looked at my discography on Bandcamp, I have over 30 projects for sure. And this is from 2011, really 2013 to now, which is, that's not that many years. I should have well over 100 projects if I'm just making music as much as I want to. But see, even with the time I did have, I made 30, pro 30 plus projects. And that don't even, I don't have all of my future projects on it. I'm, I'm for sure probably got at least 50 to 60 projects that I've done, including singles and full feature projects. So I really could just have a radio show with just all the music and just make like, uh, like how I did Keys to the Island on United Masters. I dropped a Greatest Hits. I could do a greatest hits of all the songs I actually have like a playlist of and just play them. You know what I'm saying? Just feature them on Twitch. And that's what I wanted to do and then in between drop the commercials that I'll be creating because that's, that's mainly what I wanted to do is keep the content going and drop some commercials for y'all so y'all can see like what's up with the... Uh, with the content that I'm making always. What the fuck? I know this shit not still receiving messages. This shit should be super off. Oh, it's just telling me this WhatsApp on here is super out of date. I'm like, yo, get this shit out of here. This version of WhatsApp is too old and no longer, no longer what? Compatible? Usable? Uh, hey y'all why this phone acting like it still work it's only one way to find out I might have to text myself man that'd be crazy if I could text myself man. nigga I don't have no Planet Fitness uh, account on here alright man let's see what happens All right, y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Damn, they give you 45 characters out this hole. Right, that's cool, that's all I need. Alright y'all, got a prediction up man, so if you think, if you think I'm going to be able to send, uh, you got one minute man, let's see if, if Trap, if, is Trap still able to send text, let's find out. I don't know man, <laughs> I don't know cuz. What y'all think it's gonna do? Go and put it in the subscription. Hmm. All right, so I send a text, man. Let's see what happens. So let's see. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Prediction results in. Hell no. Nah. This shit, as soon as I sent, look, this what the motherfucker say. Free message. Unable to send message. Message blocking is active. Mm-mm-mm. It's a goddamn shame. So if you got a prediction right, you just came up. You came up. You got some more channel bars. Yay. Congratulations. You just won some bars from Lord Shoe X, man. Good job. Yay. 11-11 was right, y'all. Woo. Let's keep it up. I'm going to start doing more predictions on the stream at the beginning of the stream, though. How will you see my naked nipple before this episode is over? <laughs> I'm gonna put that bit for like an hour. <laughs> Will you see the nip? But yeah. Damn, man. I was really hoping this bitch would send a message. But it's cool. I'm kind of glad it didn't. <laughs> I like that this phone is like. <laughs> Let's see what else. If, if this shit will get on the internet. Damn. I just think because this phone hasn't been on in so long that this bitch is really struggling like this. Oh, well. It's a piece. Of, it was a piece of shit anyways, y'all. So it's not like I missed it. But damn. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check that bitch out ASAP. New shit coming as the days progress. Just keep your eye out on my YouTube, on my Facebook, on my Instagram. It's going to be hella marketing shit on the album, letting you know what's going on. Of course, the Twitch stream, because I'm always talking about the fucking album on here. Go listen to Donda. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West just dropped another fucking classic album. The shit is amazing. He got a song on there. <clears throat> Hold up. Y'all need to listen to this shit. If look, this this is the only recommendation I'ma give y'all, man. And if this don't get you up out your seats, you you just I don't know. You're from hell or something. I don't know. I think it's called Heaven and Hell, or Heaven and or or Heaven or Hell. It's probably called Heaven and Hell. All right. So these are two songs. Three really. These are three songs y'all need to listen to, off of Donda. Okay. Off of the record. If you haven't heard this fucking album yet, you... I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, damn. But, it is what it is. Y'all just gonna have to check it out, see what's good. In the meantime, I'm motherfucking Lord Shoewax. And you just watched another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm sorry this episode couldn't be much longer, but I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. I got a lot of shit I gotta do. I'm, I'm trying to finish this guild. Also, on the next episode, tomorrow, I will have the link for the guild. I'll probably have this shit connected to this Twitch channel, so y'all will be able to access it easier. Um, Much love to you, yours in the world. Fucking giveaway coming soon. September 21st, I'm officially starting the giveaway, so I just gotta make the video and shit for it, so it's not just... Some fuckery. You know what I'm saying? I gotta actually put my heart and soul into this shit, y'all. You know? I don't wanna just give y'all no whack shit. But we'll see what's happening. In the meantime, y'all stay safe out here in these motherfucking streets. I'm out this bitch. I am out this bitch. Like the Olympics, I'm feeling like Tom Brady. Uh, or the '80s, reinstated. Hey, where we at with it? I can't stand this.
Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove